Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to go over the string args uh, argument that you've been seeing in the main method since we started this stuff. Um, I have an example from the book, the Think Java book, it comes at the very end of chapter 9 and it basically sets a max of, well, the smallest value you can possibly get in an integer, which is 2 to the 31, negative 2 to the 31. And what it does is it parses this array of strings that has been constantly passed in, but we've never really touched before. So for every argument in arguments, yes, it's an enhanced for loop. You can do a regular for loop if you'd like. Um, it's going to go through every single, basically, string that gets put in. And every string is going to be converted into an integer. So we got this integer class, and it's going to parse an int out of the string. It's going to store that as an integer and then do its comparison. If the integer it grabs is bigger than the max, the new max is now whatever that was, and then it just loops through for every single argument, however many there might be. When all is said and done, it prints it out. Now, if you just run it as is, it just doesn't really do anything. It just prints out the min value of an integer, which, okay, it works, but the problem is we need the ability to pass in arguments. So, what I'm going to have you do, and you can pause it if you need to, I'm going to flip over, is I'm going to go to my project folder in my Eclipse workspace. We do it in BlueJ. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Find your BlueJ stuff and head into the folder. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, but the idea is we're going to open up a command line and run this thing from the command line. So if you just right-click anywhere, you will get well, not what we're looking for, but if you hold down shift, the shift key and right click, you get this open PowerShell window here. That's if you got Windows 10. If you're running on something older, it might just be command line, but it'll work either way. Open it up, and you'll be in a command line in the folder that you were in. So I am on my the D drive, which is my second R drive in a folder called Actual Documents, Eclipse, Worksp Eclipse Workspace in my MISC CS exercises. And if I type in ls, I'll actually see what's in the folder, just printed out as a list. Um, I don't remember, because this is PowerShell and people running on older Windows. Um, you might have to do dir. They both work in PowerShell, but maybe in command line, I think just dir works. I don't remember. But anyway, it lists everything that's in there. Uh, what we want to do is get a little practice moving through folders first. So I want to go into this bin folder for binaries. This is where all my executable stuff is going to be. And if I go in there, cd bin for change directory, and I ls, there is my classes. So I got two things in here, a binary conversion, which I was playing with earlier, and return max, which we just had open. Now note these are the class files. If I wanted to see the source files, I go cd dot dot, that goes up directory, and I can go over to the other one, which is src, for all my source work. Oops. Linux habit. Um, there it is. There's our Java files. If I want to go back to bin, I can actually do it in one step. I can go dot dot slash bin. Oh, I got my slashes mixed up. And we're back there. So now I can run my return max from here just by typing in Java, which means I'm going to run basically a Java application and return max. Don't put the dot class. Just put return max. If you hit enter, it'll run. And just like before, we get the same result of that negative 2 to the 31. Well, what if I, I need to just hit up to do the old command. If I add some um, arguments after it, 15, 18, 19, 78, it'll actually pick up the top one there, okay? So that's command line stuff in a nutshell. Uh, you might see these arguments other places. Um, every application pretty much accepts some uh, command line applications, not just Java stuff. You can do things like Chrome where you can open it in incognito mode automatically by putting a command line argument if you are... Uh, if you play games, there are some games that have command line arguments that set the window resolution and turn off the startup videos and things like that. So um, they got some use. They're handy. You don't see them a lot, but they are there. They exist. If you want to have an easier way to test this, 
Um, in Blue Jay, it does it for you automatically, but in Eclipse, it requires a little bit of clicking at first. You want to go to Run Configurations and head over to Arguments. Make sure you're on the right program. Head over to, head over to the Arguments. You can put your arguments here if you want, but that's kind of tedious because then every time you want to go test new ones out, you got to go to this window. So what we're going to do is put in a variable. All right, so these things are automatically filled in with certain things like whatever the current date is or the home folder for Eclipse. We want string prompts. So I'm going to click that, hit OK, puts that in. I'll just apply it and close it for now. So now when I run it, it'll prompt me for what I want. And I got some old values in here and it'll run it. So that is that. Those are string line arguments. Okay. And that's it. Bye.